it makes me smile to know that we are celebrating this day in the same way that we celebrated the victory over Germany and the victory over Japan in World War II. Was it, was it VE Day and VJ Day? Well, now we have Jack Easterby Gone Day. That's today. Happy two-year anniversary. Jack Easterby has been gone from the Texans organization officially for two years. They removed him from his office as, what, vice president? Jeez. On <laughs> October 17th of 2024. J-E-Day. Yeah, J-E-Day. <laughs> or B-B-J-E Day. Bye-bye. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Bye-bye, Jack Easterby Day. How did that happen? Well, you even just saying his title right there, I just like How? just got transported back to 2021 to Texans. Like, oh my God. It's the most embarrassing thing that's ever happened to this organization. And they had a quarterback that got accused of sexual misconduct mm -hmm. with 26 different women. And here's the thing I, I say that that is not as embarrassing because NFL players do effed up stuff all the time the texans have one right now and joe mixon you know yeah. it was way back in the day at oklahoma but i mean it still happened but this guy who had no resume how the hell did he get here it's also such a reflect like the deshaun stuff the mixon stuff is i mean it's especially deshaun actually mixon's a little different the Deshaun stuff is more of a reflection on Deshaun Watson and less a reflection on the Houston Texans. The Houston Texans having Jack Easterby as high up in their organization as they did, that is a direct reflection of the Houston Texans, and they should be embarrassed that that, that, that ever happened. By the way, did you know he's on LinkedIn, Jack Easterby? I'm looking at his account <laughs> on LinkedIn. The most insufferable app that there is, yeah. Jack Easterby is on LinkedIn. Of course. I'm, I'm going to uh, read Next. his bio oh. here. Um. <laughs> oh. oh my god! <laughs> oh my god! Oh yes, that the that's. Oh, I want to live in this moment, right. of not knowing what it says, but knowing your reaction. A results-driven executive with fifteen plus years of experience developing people, building systems, and overseeing staff, business football operations for successful organizations okay this is what every effing consultant in the world has as the lead to their job profile how can you say a lot of vague things that you did he said in quotation marks without actually getting specific here's some more oh my god has developed strategies and vision while managing logistics, facilities management, procurement, and event service operations. I think I could literally put that for what I do. We all could say that. <laughs> Anyone who's ever had an effing job can say that, Sean. <laughs> I literally could put that exact word for word, that exact same thing. Most beneficial to a team environment. When formulating solutions to capture time and cost savings, administering budgets, and aiming to develop synergy between internal and external teams in order to exceed performance benchmarks within highly competitive environments. What the fuck is any of that? What is any of that? What does that mean? <laughs> when he says teams inside and outside, does he mean like the Houston Texans and then other teams, like like the, the, the DeAndre Hopkins. I don't know. Counts as I that. don't know. This is all gibberish. And by the way, no faith, no faith discussed there. CJ Stroud talking about how God determined whether or not he was going to start right away or sit behind the scenes for a little bit. CJ Stroud brought more there than this guy who was a chaplain, a chaplain who becomes a results driven executive. Huh? Also, the results are terrible. What are we talking about? Oh, no, 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 because this, this bio's not done. Oh. Good God. Successfully organized programming and strategy for multiple NCAA postseason participants and champions in multiple teams and individual sports. NFL Super Bowl champions. Oh, for bleep's sake. And here it comes. <laughs> and multiple NFL division champions. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. That's crazy that he put that. He is a Super Bowl champion. 
he is a super world champion. You do. He, he got a couple of rings, that's for sure. No, but like, do you think they made a ring for Jack Ishui? I don't know, man. They probably did. This I is imagine. crazy. Jovan Belcher doesn't kill himself. Does do we ever hear about Jack Ishui? Serious question. I'm, I'm not trying to get a rise here. I, I mean, <laughs> I don't know. Th th that's when the, I think that's when the Chiefs brought him in. It was after that. I, I feel like I'm not sure if he was there in the moment. And we will, we're, his resume, it's very fishy. We'll look at it in a moment. Again, we're looking at Jack Easterby's uh, LinkedIn profile. Wasn't that right something now. where he lied on his resume? <laughs> yes. Okay. That was a big scandal that popped up. <laughs> that that just popped in my head. Uh, more uh, Jack Easterby. Strategically developed multiple sporting databases from scratch. What? What are you talking about? You're not Jeff Luno. With internal and external operations in mind while designing tools that aggregate data for use within the club. Again, all of this is just gibberish. Just straight gibberish data. by this guy oh do you want to read some of his linkedin posts oh oh my good now this i i i want to get some popcorn ready for this okay so he's been gone for two years oh my god it's it's all oh, oh. <laughs> i need a commercial i need okay. a commercial break to On take a drink <laughs> oh happy jack easter b day and I guess it's actually BBJE Day. Bye bye, Jack Easterby Day. Two years since the Texans pushed him out the door. I unintentionally discovered his LinkedIn profile while trying to look up his resume. And for anyone who's never been on LinkedIn, LinkedIn is a social media app for professionals. But essentially, this app is just a bunch of people sitting around in a circle patting themselves on the back with clapping seals enabling them there's no criticism there's no second guessing it is just i'm so glad i don't have a corporate job that's all i can really say when i see a linkedin profile I mean, it's it's Marilyn Manson removing his rib cage esque. It's just so awful. Anyway, I I went through his profile. Luckily, he hasn't posted much over the last six months. In fact, he hasn't posted at all. But all of his posts, much like his profile, which we just read in the last segment, are just the proper amount of nothing actually being said. That would make you think he'd be a great consultant for somebody. And guess what? He was a consultant for the Houston Texans that somehow became a vice president. Jack used to be six months ago, wrote this. A leader's greatest act is to sacrifice for his team, setting a standard of selflessness that inspires unity and drives success. It's in these all caps moments of giving that the true strength of leadership is revealed. Now that quote, vague, generic, possibly lifted from somebody else. I was going to say that 100% is a quote from someone else. I need to read a response to it. Oh, no. This is from a guy by the name of Clifton Sellers, who uh, his profile reads, Girl Dad, that's the first thing, and founder at, at Go Legacy Builder. Thank you for sharing this powerful reflection on leadership. It's a reminder of the profound impact leaders can have on those they serve. Wipe your mouth, sir. It is brutal reading this guy's profile <laughs> here's another post by jackie used to be our mat our habits matter more than we think our eating habits our playing habits our thinking habits our scrolling habits our sleeping habits our speaking habits. oh my god how many habits <laughs> <laughs> how many more habits can you think of here bathroom habits <laughs> our shower habits no hygiene habits there. our clothing habits fashion habits right today's habits shape tomorrow's success oh my god <sighs> by the way clifton sellers comments on it again uh, oh, okay uh, it's empowering to realize that by cultivating positive habits today we're actively creating a brighter tomorrow what is linkedin who actually uses this site? I thought Twitter sucked. At least people on Twitter are yelling at each other, and you kind of enjoy the chaos. T LinkedIn, everyone is just kissing each other's ass. It's just like uh, chat GBT inspirational quotes, and then 
chat B- GBT comments of, wow, this is such a great quote. It's like all just like, just this mo- meaningless, like, yeah, just the most meaningless thing. What he said is having good habits is good. <laughs> that that is, what the, <laughs> that, that is what that said. And then you have Cliff over there being like, yep, right. <laughs> Leadership is important. Does he want to work for Jack Easterby? Or is does, that... he, does he want to hire him? Does he want to get hired by him? Does he? Yeah, I don't, oh do my other God. stuff. I don't know. It is is brutal. Go on your LinkedIn and just see what you see. But Jack Easterby's I, I, LinkedIn. I, I don't want to. I'm gonna make because the worst part is that it's people I know. Like this, it's more palatable because it's Jack Easterby, someone I already uh, have disdain for. I don't want to lose respect for my friends who maybe have because they have corporate jobs and they have to particip- participate in that. I don't want I don't even want to see. I, should, I want to I want to be able to respect them next time I look them in the eye. Should I go on LinkedIn and just become like a, a, a an influencer troll LinkedIn account yeah. and just comment like, what are you talking about? Oh, <laughs> be the one person that does this. Because, again, no one does it. I, I'm reading these comments. It's all everyone's like, yup, yup. Yeah, yeah. This guy single-handedly ran the Texans into the effing ground. People thought it was Bill O'Brien. Here's another Jack Easterby post. Oh, great. It's about sports, okay? Oh. Not about oh, leadership. I'm interested. <laughs> the new 1% in sports are able to manage through crisis, balanced in their perspective, strategic thinkers, character-driven, Faith integrated, ethically sound, team oriented, visionaries, consistent, authentic. That sounds like CJ Shroud. Uh, it does. I, I thought it might be one of those acronyms that can be turned oh, into swarm. Something? Yeah. It's it says uh, absk. Uh, so it doesn't work. Doesn't work on a T-shirt. Guess who commented? Clifton Our Sellers. Guy Cliff. Clifton Sellers commented again. I, I almost feel bad for, I for saying his I full don't. name every time. I don't. I hope I hope this gets him some business for <laughs> Go Legacy Builder. This list highlights the importance of integrity, teamwork, oh and authenticity God. in achieving greatest both on the field. <laughs> Again. What is this app? And who is this person that thinks Jack Easterby is a model? It is just. Someone saying nothing, saying just the most like bland, like leadership is good stuff. Yeah. And then someone else going, correct. Oh. The leadership is very important. Leadership I, is very good. Oh my God. This is the, this is so bad. Does he have dude. like alerts for when Jackie's free posts? Dude. So he can I, I do might, the first comment. Well, he hasn't posted in six months, but I, this might be the first thing I ever said alerts for on LinkedIn. Like he's, like he's Woj. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Now, this is better than Woj. Unbelievable. Oh, my God. That... <laughs> I mean, God. Again, uh, you already said it. I, I would like to second it. Thank God I don't have to. LinkedIn is not oh. important in our business. Can you imagine? Can you just imagine this? I, I can't believe that after everything that blew up here, and maybe maybe people just aren't as aware of Jack Easterby and his, how he – accrued all this power like he's little finger or grima worm tongue in lord of the rings i i don't know how he amassed all this power and maybe honestly for all of these psychos on linkedin who don't have a personality except for like putting out just basic ass quotes talking about grit grind and effort he is the model right yeah con your way to the top that's what linkedin's all about but the amount of this Essentially, a circle, you know what, of all these people enabling each other. Wow. Yeah. I, I need to take a shower. I uh, This is this was gross. 